Hey guys, all right, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are making this photo folio um, and using kind of making your own paper kind of thing. And we're also decorating it more like you would a junk journal than a photo album, photo folio kind of thing. Although, you know, there's no rules. You Anything goes, anything goes. But I was checking, I put these three pieces in there. Remember, we haven't done the backs because I wanted to see doing the three pieces, you know, the four, it's four sheets total. Four, um, but I wanted to see how much room I would have left. And I still have a good bit of room. I still have a good bit of room, a good half inch, I'd say. This side, there's one piece that's a little thicker, uh, but I think all in all, we'll be able to have some fun on the on the back end, you know. And plus, we've got the this piece uh, to do. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, woo -hoo, we're getting there. Okay, so. Um, I had this piece of parchment paper and I said, oh, I don't want to throw it away and it's too small for my cookie sheet. So I said, oh, uh, I can just make something with it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So um, I have my small scoreboard here and it's a little larger than the small scoreboard, but I'm going to make it work. Um, so I, I'm just kind of guesstimating what I'm going to do here, but let's see if I fold this, I'm not going to actually fold it, but if I, if I put it in half, it's probably seven and a half inches. So let's do a half inch. Okay. And then I'm going to stick that half inch against the thing. Because it, this is a little unruly, a little unruly. It's got a mind of its own, and I'm going to do a quarter inch. And then another. OK, let's I don't know. Let's start. Let's start back here again because I'm losing it. OK, so I started a half inch and then I did kind of three quarters of an inch, but it moved. Um, so say I did a half inch, three quarters of an inch. Now I'm going to do an inch. Let's be gentle. Okay. And then, um, let's see, that would be four inches. So let's make another one at five and a half. And then at five and three quarters. And then at six. And that should give us plenty. We could do it. Huh. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't need it huge. I don't need it huge. And let's just see if this is going to work out the way I think it's going to work out. So let's just take our fold lines. And then I want to fold. See, I didn't actually get a good quarter of an inch on there. So I'm going to kind of make my own quarter of an inch here. Let's see. Mm. Right there. Okay, so there's that one. And then let's flip her over. And 
make another one. So now we have, if you can see, a little accordion. Okay. So now on this one, so the next one you're going to skip over, and then the next one we're going to fold this way. And then we're going to flip it over and fold this way. And then we're going to flip it back over and fold this way. All right. So now, <laughs> you see that? Yeah, that's going to be a nice little thing. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of score tape. I think I'm going to take my eighth of an inch. And I'm going to glue this to the inside. And then we'll square it off. I'm just going to put two rows here, and that will seal it very, very well. Okay. So we're going to make sure we've got our folds. We're going to lay this over, and then we'll just lay it down on top. That will work. Let me, let me give it a little bit of a burnish here. Okay, let's see how. One. Oh, that pulled the sticky right back off. Okay. That was good. I thought that and it came off really easy too, so maybe score tape is not the answer on parchment paper. So I think I will take a bit of glue and put on the inside of these two because that might be the only thing that actually holds it together. Okay. Now, let's see if I can get the cover off without pulling the score tape up. There we go. No. Boy, it does not want to stick onto this parchment paper. Which is the whole idea behind parchment paper, so, you know, it's doing its job correctly. All right. Well, isn't this fun? <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm going to pull this off. And I'll save it for something else. And we'll just use glue. Yep. Let me just add a little bit more glue. Okay. Hey, I can pick it or hoe it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, lay that down. And then just pull that over nicely. All right. So there's the beginning of our bag. Let's just uh, cut off. the excess here and I might just make a smaller one. I might just. I'm just trying to also not cut into the bag. So take your time. All right. So there is that. 
And then let's do, I actually don't have a problem with it being uneven, but one end is definitely going to have to close over another. Well, let me get this one flat. This is the one, this will be the end that I will use. Let me get all my little, little housekeeping people. <laughs> little housekeeping. Okay, so. All right, so there's that. And let's just cut up about a half an inch. Just on the outside flap. Okay, I got some glue or something on these scissors. And the parchment paper just don't like it. It don't like it. So I'm going to fold this up. And I'm going to cut off the rest of this. Okay, and then I'm going to flip this over. Let's give it just a little, I don't know, just a little rounded edge to finish it off. There we go. Glue it. There we go. And let's just fold that right over top of our parchment paper. Easy peasy bag. We have a little hanging off the side. Just snip her away. Easy peasy accordion bag. Now, how tall do I want it? Let's see. It is four and a half this way. So, I think the shortest part is eight and a half. And I can certainly deal with eight and a half. <sighs> but do I want a straight cut across or do I like it like this? I kind of like it like this. Okay. But anyway, until we, we can figure that one out here in a little while. Let's, let's play. I want to play. So I still have this napkin. I've used a little bit of it. Oopsie. Oopsie. And so I thought this would be really pretty. Don't know that I need all those stripes because they don't really go with what I'm, you know, what I'm working on. Um, let's see. So I can get a little bit of this in. I can even do it like this. All right. Okay, so there's some of the napkin used. Let me see what I have in my tidbits. Well, okay, first, let me go ahead and get my multi mat media out. And go ahead and let's put this down. So it can dry 
while we figure out what else we're going to do with it. I don't need the big hunks. Throw away. There we go. Uh, let's see. I think that should cover everything. And let's just put over top. Some of it we've got on spots without. Just take your time. You want it all the glue down. And you just kind of want to try and keep it all going in the same direction. And that helps with uh, just seeing a bunch of brush strokes. But this is uh, a textured napkin, so I don't know if it's going to help me hide these brush strokes or not. So as you guys know, we've been making some elements that we haven't been putting onto our pages. See, this doesn't look like it got all the way to the end. There we go. So, um, yeah, so we will find spots for these things. I hope. <laughs> That is the goal, but you know, if you make one that you don't end up using, you can always put it away for another yummy thing that you're making. Okay, so I am going to let this dry off to the side a little bit. And I still have a little bit of water in my little mason jar there. Okay, so there's that done. Now, we do have the napkin here, so we can kind of utilize this as a get this makes too much noise on the glass. So let's see what we've got here. That's actually pretty nice on there. I'm going to kind of put that up to the top here. There's a large one that I tore the top. Excuse me, I tore the top off of. I could just cut her torso out. That would be interesting. Where are my little scissors? For heaven's sakes. Okay. <laughs> and I only have one pair of the little scissors in here because I keep taking the rest of them out uh, mm -hmm. out and away. Here they are. Um, yeah, I think I'll like her all cut out. And we'll build a nice little section. We can put clothes on her. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, guys. 
got to get your mojo flowing. <laughs> I know this is as exciting as watching paint dry, but when I bring you along for the ride, it's a package deal. <laughs> yes, it is. But um, why don't I go ahead and pause and I'm going to find a few other things so you don't have to watch all this. I'll be right back. Okay guys, while we're waiting for the parchment paper to dry, or if this is a new video, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> um, okay, so I thought I would go ahead and go uh, work on this last piece. Um, I am going to, let's see. So we have our envelope, and this time, I have this piece that I want to put onto the front of the envelope and I will um, figure out what I'm going to put. I do have this little strip here that I do want to use, but I don't know that that will, uh, well it might, that might be interesting, um, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, so I do want to use this, but I want the whole thing to come out and make a full page. Um, so I'm going to first, let's go ahead and cut this. Oh, let's make it about here. So it's, a, it's about a half an inch away from the edge of the next page of the purple page. So I know I've got a, quite a bit of layers there, but so there is that, which is then going to have me cut this the same. And let me put all of this into my little scrap bin. Try and keep everything clean, neat, and tidy. All right, let's see how this is going to do. Because I'm, I'm using this um, music paper to go inside the envelope. But I'm going to match the outside. So basically, I'm gluing over the flap. So there won't be a flap on this one. So that will work right like that. However, I do need to fix this. It's um, it's off a smidge. Let me see how I'm going to do that. Uh, right there, I think. I think that should work. It's a little askew, but once it goes in, you really aren't going to notice it too much. Um, Okay, so if I pull this out, this is all still working. And this is working. Oh, pull it out some more. Right. I just want them to come together at the top here. So let's make sure. Yep, and it still covers everything on my envelope. So that is wonderful. Remember, this is the spine side. I put my little S over here, so I remember that this is my spine side. All right, so I've got this where I want this, and let me make sure I've got it nice and straight. Let's get this in nice and straight, and then I'm just going to glue the flap down on the music paper. Oops, that was good. Just going to glue that flap down on the music paper. Okay, so this looks good. And I just want to make sure that I'm even. And I want to make sure, yeah, okay. So, one more time because I did move it around. Yeah, we're good. So I'm just going to lift my flap up. Wakey, wakey glue. And I'm going to 
glue down the envelope flap onto the music paper. So basically this, this part of the envelope you will not see. There we go. All right, and then that one I'll just match right up. Good to go. All right, now we're going to play. And I'm thinking that I'm going to, let's figure out what we're gonna put here first. So what do I have? that see this has got some blue so I could use this do I have enough for it to be on top and bottom I don't think so and I don't think I have any more bits of blue do I have any bits of blue I didn't have too many papers that I used blue on oh there's some blue Okay, I'm going to use that because I do want bits of blue, I think. Because we've got a little blue here, we've got some blue there, and I think the bits of blue will look nice. I do. Riley, I do. So I could use... Hmm. Well, well, heavens to Betsy. Uh, this could work, but I don't like having things too sideways, too out of, uh, out of proportion here. Uh, this has got potential. This has got potential and I think I have enough of it and it'll make it stand out and honestly I think I'm going to put um, so it really doesn't matter but let's see I think I need two pieces just to be safe I'm gonna go three quarters of an inch Let's see, and you guys can hear me. Yes, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut about three quarters of an inch on both of these, and three quarters of an. Oops! Don't you fall! Don't you fall! Okay. So, if I put this here, is that gonna run that into that? Eh, nah. So we'll put this down here. And I'll just have to cut this the right, the correct length. And I'm going to have it match up perfectly. So I'm going to cut them both together and leave myself a little bit of room so I can just go and cut it off but not have so much room that that I get overexcited about having room. <laughs> okay, so if it if it jets out past the white, it's fine. I, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I do want it to cover the white completely though. So it should still leave a little bit of the gold because this white is shorter. Okay, now the only thing is that, well, no, because I'll back, I'll get this just right on there. But we need, we need some coloration. We need some coloration. So I'm going to do, whoops, my scattered straw first. And we just need it on uh, three sides here because the other one will be covered up. Let's 
All right, there's that. And then we're going to the milled lavender. You know, this envelope's getting covered up, remember, so we're good. <laughs> it's all okay. Y'all yelling at me, oh, don't do that. Okay. All righty then. So, oh. Yep, we're going to be just fine and dandy. And my glue is erupting over here. <laughs> Yikes! Suck it up, big boy. There, now it won't erupt. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so... We are going to glue these down. And stay even with the white paper. Or the, well, mine is white because I'm using my, my um, copy of my sheet music that I had. So whatever piece you use, whatever it is that you have, you might like having um, some of the backside showing. It might be double-sided paper because you could totally do this with a regular, uh, a, a regular pack of paper. Totally. That just, I don't know, did I not put a lot of glue on there or something? I thought I did pretty well, but it's not sticking. Now it is. There we go. Okay, flip her back over. Please make sure that you know where your spine is so that you are building this correctly, which, you know, which way it's supposed to be facing. Because you certainly do not want to have a boo-boo. Certainly do not want to have a boo-boo. Okay, so I am going to have a little bit of an edge over here, but that's okay because I am going to use some lace. Uh, do I want to put the lace underneath the two pieces? That's a good question. Let's see, where is... I think I, I was definitely planning on using some of this. So... I can lay it across the top of both, like so, just coming off the edge, or I can have about half of it sticking out. Um, Wow, okay. And then it would be whole just for about a half an inch on each side. Okay. Um, I think I like it on top because it just gives you more texture and feel and and numminess. You know, I just I just think I want the whole I want the whole inch a lot of baby. Okay. But I don't want to put this on because I know I want to play with this. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do on this. And um, let's see. Okay, this is pretty dry. And one thing I did want to mention is you want to make sure that you don't allow it to get through and glue your bag together. Okay, this is not dry dry, but it's fairly dry. So let me show you the pieces that I pulled together for this. And um, some of this writing paper this time, instead of leaving it white, I went ahead and inked it up and it just turns out beautifully. See where you can see the, the white 
writing on it. Yeah, I was really pleased with that. And I kind of used both colors to give me a little ombre effect on this one. Uh, this one I used the lighter color and then came back with the darker color and edged it. This one I did all three colors with the scattered straw, giving me just a, a hint of yellow as well. And then this I just used the lighter color. So I have a, a, a grouping of those. I cut out this lace. I cut out these flowers. This says smile, laugh, sing. And then this is just, you know, a postmark. I have um, some lace. Let's see. I have her. So I'm going to play around with this. and see what I can come up with um, gathering some more lace and things like that as well um, and I, I think I'm gonna have to definitely cut out some more flowers but I just wasn't really taken by what I had left so I might have to print another sheet out so just just playing I'm just I'm just playing guys let's see yeah okay but I want to get some more laces I want to get uh, a few other things so I'll have y'all back in just a few minutes. Guys, I swear, I got in here, sat down, and just started playing. I said, whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> let's, let's bring them along. So uh, I stopped. I was a good girl, and I said I need to bring them along. Because, you know, sometimes I just get going, and I... <laughs> I don't even think about you guys, but I am. And I tell you, last night we got our power back. Oh, a week without power. It was horrible. And I have scheduled more videos. So you'll, by the time you see this one, you know, this will all be gone. But um, yeah, there were about four or five days there that um, I, I didn't have any videos, but I, I had no way of putting them up. I, I yeah, no, no way. So Anyway, so I've got my um, wax out again. This is the um, Finnabar Art Alchemy, and I, I believe it, it, it is by Prima, yeah. Um, and it, this is the Heather Hills, and I just want to um, highlight this, the little smile, laugh, sing piece. So um, I am putting around the edges some of this metallic so it will really kind of pop that out and make us all happy yeah we like to be happy <laughs> oh my gosh I, it is just so nice that we m both my husband and i we um flipped a coin to see who got the first hot shower he won, and but he was gracious and said, you can do it. And I said, no, it's okay. You get your shower. You won it. So I was a good girl, but he's always the gracious one. <laughs> so I, I let him go first, <laughs> which I was going to anyway, but I thought it was cute to uh, give him a hard time at first and say, well, we better flip for it. <laughs> I love that man of mine. And today we built a fire out in his shop for the first day in a week. Um, and uh, so he is out working on his knives and goodies, which means I am in here playing with nobody to bother me. He came in just a little while ago and he took the pups out for me. So, yeah. I am good to go for a while to spend with you guys. Okay, but I am trying to keep these videos um, 
not too terribly long. See, I'm going to try. Uh, la, la, la. Let's see. This is my corner rounder. I'm going to use the quarter inch side. And let's see how this turns out for me. Eh. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Love that corner rounder. Okay, so I love that. That's very good. I had a little little glue on that. Okay. Um, so I did pull out some more little lace pieces to play around with. Let's put this back. And but first, all my little pieces. Oh, that kind of stuck. Good, good, good. All right. Put all the little pieces over here. I think uh, first I want to do some stamping. And um, I think I'm going to trim off these little bits of edges that I have too. Let's see. So that it still looks like a bag. Okay. Of course, you could totally leave the tattered edges if you like. I am just looking for a little more of a uh, clean piece than, you know, if I was doing an actual journal, I would probably leave all these little bits and pieces just for added texture and yumminess, but I'm trying to make sure I don't cut my bag. Um, I really think for this, I want it to be a little, a little neater. Boy, these scissors all of a sudden are not cutting very well at all. Uh, maybe it just doesn't like napkin, but, uh, There, I cut my bag just a little bit, but just a teeny, teeny bit. I stopped myself. Okay, so I think I want to do some stamping. This is the Prima. Yeah, beautiful story. Beautiful story. And I think, let's see here. Uh... Actually, I think I'm going to stamp um, one of these on here. And I think I'm going to, let's see, I don't know if the archival ink, see, I had a little piece of that left over. Let's see if the archival ink works. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not so, it's not, I don't think it's so happy. So let's get the stays on out. Where's my stays on? Got to have my stays on. Oh, that's my dove gray, which is about as dead as a doornail. Here we go. Stays on. Let's use the smelly stuff. Some people love this smell and some people don't. <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle. I, I it, it it doesn't bother me, but I it, at the same time I would really rather not smell it. Okay, so whoops. Okay, so definitely either way, gonna have to let it have some dry time. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second and see how it does but here and I suppose I could get myself oh my oh excuse me my stamp pads okay maybe little lighter touch. Huh. I don't know if I 
can't hardly really tell what that one is, so let me get this other one. Yeah, I like that one better. I'm probably only going to use one, but I figured I'd go ahead and stamp it a couple of times. Let me cover this until I figure out what I'm going to do over here. Now that should be enough time. That one's still coming off, so that was the archival. Let's see this one. Yeah, see that one's still coming off too. I don't know why I don't use a cloth instead of my fingers. <laughs> Duh. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see that's still coming off. All right, so maybe I won't be stamping. Um, okay, so I think eventually it will dry. But, yeah, it's still, it's still coming off. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave that one a little bit longer. Um, while I'm waiting to see if that's going to dry, I'm going to move all of this off to the side. We're doing a lot of that. And I am going to cut this out. really slowly <laughs> really slow well you know when they're round you gotta give it a second because you're I don't know some people are probably a lot better at it than I am but I think of myself as a pretty good fussy cutter but boy when it comes to round stuff I'm gonna save those in case I want to do another one <coughs> but on this page I do want to bring back some of this and I want to try this smaller uh, doily this is Prima vintage you pour you la 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 Emporium so this small doily here and then this is um, I love you happily ever after friend hugs and kisses blessed always my okay I guess you're not supposed to really understand what it says so let's give this a try let's have some fun I got to have some fun okay so I've already used this on one of the other page or two of the other pages I believe um, so I do want it to come back let's give it just a little bit of a I don't know if this is, it's a very thick consistency, so I don't know if that is what it's supposed to be. It's just modeling paste, so let's see. Let's do this down here. You guys see? Okay. Let's do this down here. And these are very tiny holes, so it really is not going to take much in the way of All right, there we go. Lift that off. Oh, cute, 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 cute. Um, I think I like this. So, but I think I'm going to do it upside down, or I don't know if it's. I don't really know if it matters much. Running out of room here, and I think I want to. Yeah, that's something right about there. Let's see. Don't want to cover up too much of my blue. So get a little bit of this on. I like these because they're uh, very fine. And so you're not, you're not getting a lot on the paper, but you are, you know, getting it on the paper, so to speak. Now that's going to screw me up. 
because it won't allow it to lay down. There. Get the excess off and pull it up. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So there is a little bit of that gold come back. Then I think I'm going to do some stenciling with the uh, tumbled glass again because I do want to bring more blue into this. All right, so now I am going to have to pause you guys. And when I come back, we will check and see if that stays on is going to stays on <laughs> the parchment paper. But let me go and wash this, guys, real quick so I don't ruin my stuff. Don't want to ruin my stuff. Clean my glass off. All right, be right back. Okay, well, I checked it without you guys. Sorry, but it's still undry. It still did its thing. So, I am going to try some clear embossing. So, we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And I think it's on there. <laughs> and I'm going to hit it with a heat tool here. Oh, yeah. So it will be a little raised. If I leave it on too long, it will warp the bag a little bit, which we don't want. So I'm thinking uh, instead of even this, using using let's see what color I do want to bring. Maybe I'll do some. Um, Okay, let's see. I think I've got, let's try some, see, am I videoing? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I had actually pushed the button. Uh, let's try some worn lipstick in the Distress Oxide. Um, and I'm going to try it on... this first to see if I like the color. All right. So let's see what it's going to be like. Let me just use my leftover bits here. All right, heating it. So, do I like that? Well, it's not bad, but it is kind of totally not the right color either. So, I'm thinking no on the worn lipstick stuff. I've just, I haven't really played with my Distress Oxides much, so I will start getting into those a little bit more. And by the way, I'm using Wow Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder. Um, had a lady on Facebook the other day ask about, um, uh, embossing powders and stuff. So I thought maybe if you guys are interested, I would do a, um, where did I put my mic? Oh, it's right here. Um, that I would do a video on, um, that stuff. Yeah. Uh, embossing powders. Best way to use, um, the difference between all the different kinds that are out there, uh, and, you know, just kind of 
taken it from there. Um, okay, so I think I'm just going to stick with the tumbled glass. I think there's enough ink in it. I think I re-inked it. So let's try that one. And this time with like the stamp that I think I want to use. I'm just going to use a partial of this. It might, I might, maybe I didn't have... You can't even see it. Maybe I didn't have tumbled glass. I thought I had tumbled glass because I went through and inked all my pens and things up. And I did a video on that. I have broken china, peacock feathers, um, salty ocean. Looks like I have all but mermaid whatever's all but tumbled glass you know and it was really uh, amazing to me I oh no here it is I thought I had for all of the pens and things that I have I thought I had reinkers for all of them except I knew I didn't have frayed burlap but then I found out that I really didn't have much in the way and this just takes a second or two Um, but I thought I had, uh, ink, re-inkers for all of the ones that I owned. Because I don't, I own all the colors, I shouldn't say that, because I own all the colors in the stamp pads, except for the new ones that are out, uh, this year. And I think one or two from last year. I just feel like I've got enough different colors that you know and you can blend them so why do you so i mean i understand why they're doing it because they want to sell more stuff but why why <laughs> why do you want all those colors when you can when they're made to blend uh i would like to get some more of the distress oxide i have uh one set um and a couple that uh, I, I, um, got one as a gift from something. I can't remember. It's like I won it or something. And then they had, uh, one at a Tuesday mornings and I bought that. So I've got one full set and then two more colors, I think is what I have. Um, but yeah, so, uh, anyway, we're not getting much done here today, are we? Um, let's, I'm just wondering if I'm going to enjoy this, like I think I should be enjoying this, and that stays on on there. Um, get that, get that icky stuff off of there. Okay, now this has dried. Good. Almost a little, a little dampage here, but because um, I do want to stencil on this, and I know I'm going to use the tumbled glass for it. Um, let's see where is my larger cube right here? Got so many things on my desk right now. All right. Now, I know Distress Ink is really not made to stamp. And I'm okay if I don't get everything. What do I have in blue? I don't know. Let me try this right here. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I know Distress Ink is really not made for for um, inking stuff up. The Distress Oxide is better for that, but I don't think, and I know the colors are a little different, um, but I don't think I have. I have Salty Ocean. I do not have Distress, I mean Tumbled Glass. Um, 
That's right, I ended up with two salty oceans. Now, how do you do that? I think that was the one I had found a couple. Let's, I think this is going to be way too bright. Okay, let's give it the old Jolly Roger how, however, huh? See, most of it's going to get covered up anyway. And I should have put my stamp pad underneath, and I did not. All right, yeah, that is woo, way bright, but let's get some clear on here. Well, I... Keep forgetting I've got this. All right. And let me Sorry, I'm I got my tool. Okay, not excited about it, but we did it. We did it. I'm just going to move on because this is trial and error, so you guys are along for the ride. Um, and I, I kind of like that they, I've got little little bits of the of the um, blue words. But she's going to cover most of that. And it was reactivating the glue a little bit. We don't want that. So, let's see. I think I'm going to kind of tear this down. Um, where's my... I'm just going to give this a... Because it's white now. Whatever was on there was going to be just fine with me. A little darker color. So I'm going to put this along the bottom. Now this is not going to fit, you know, top to bottom on the page. So it's available for whatever you want to do. Sticking out the top or sticking out the bottom. Of course, out the sides. So um, what do I have? Uh, what do I have? What do I have? Where's my snippet? Where's my snippets? Whoopsie. Where's my snippets? Let's see. Got some of this pink. That's what I was looking for. Got some of this pink. I think I'm going to chop off a little bit of this. I'm going to chop off a little of that good stuff right there and have this hanging down. Let's see how well um, I left my pin out. Is it going to work? No, it's not. And my girlfriend keeps telling me that I need to get a, a, a small glass put a damp paper towel down in the glass and then you just drop your point down into the glass and the wet paper towel keeps your tip moist so it doesn't the glue doesn't dry but the glue doesn't come out either so I don't know why I'm dragging my feet on that I don't know that that's going to work um, but I am. <laughs> uh, I think it's because, I, well, I already spilled water on my table um, from just my little mason jar full of water. 
and because uh, I'm I'm a messy, quick moving cra crafter, you know, I got a lot of hand motions. You guys already know that. So um, yeah, I just I don't know. I just been dragging my feet now. I'm not going to glue all around the edges. I will go back later and glue all around the edges. I'm just getting the center because as you're layering, you're going to want to put things, um, you know, put things around this and put things around that. Now I know I'm going to have her coming up and uh, let's see, do I want to cut this in half? I don't know yet. Um, I've got this. I think I would like this to come, in, come up here. Move her down just a smidge. Don't know that I want all that blue there. So, I think I'll, I think I'll do some more of that. Let's get her whole face on some of that. I do like the little bits of blue there, but I don't like that big old gob, glob, glob of blue. All right, and then I liked the way this made her dress look last time. So I think, let's see. Pretty. Then I have this little bit of flower. See, we just keep playing, and there's my little male piece, and I have this peach trim, probably have it down the side there. My sleeve caught that. Let's see, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off, but I want that heart on there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half. Where do I want it? Right here. I'm going to put part of it here. And I'll put part of it just up here. No. Let's see, maybe this will be what I put up here part of that. Yeah, let's do it this way. Let's do it out to the side. But I'm going to have the peach there. Hmm. Get a little more front and center look. And we just play in until we get it the way we like it. And just keep working it. Just keep working it. And a little bit of this under here. 
for it's not quite connected. Okay, and then I have another postal code. I have some flowers. I have some blue flowers put up here. And I have some little white pretties from a uh, bit of ribbon I had left over, a bit of trim, lace, Yes, that's looking pretty good. And then I'll have oh, oh, right there. And then this on top. Really busy, but very pretty. Okay, so once you get it figured out, Let's, okay, it, usually I would take a picture of this, but I think I've pretty much uh, know where I want everything, and this lower part's going to be pretty easy because all I got to do is just lift up. And put things down. I think I'm gonna actually give this kind of a different tear. Let me get that white off of there. <clears throat> and just remember when you're putting stuff down that you may still want to tuck something underneath it, so don't uh, go crazy with your glue. Okay, next is going to be this, and I'm going to put the lace on top of this piece of paper, top of this piece of paper right here. I'm going to put the lace on top of it. Where am I? 22 minutes. Okay. And if you want to flip it over so you can see how straight you have it. So you want it to be even. Even, Stephen. All right. And then let's glue this down. This I'm going to put over top. And put a little bit where it's going under right here there we go let's tack a little bit more of this down so it's behaving. All right, now this upper part. I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do is first I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. And I'm finding that the Fabri-Tac is working better on the parchment bag than the glue is. So just FYI, 
on that. That's when it's nice having several different kinds of glue. <clears throat> okay, stay. And then there was this piece here for her head to kind of, oh, to kind of have um, some top piece on that. And then this here. And I like most of her face being on that light lavender color. But I do like having some of that blue come in. Maybe I'll do it this way. Um, up a little higher. This down a little lower. Okay, so that's where I want these things. Um, this was going underneath here or over. Um, let me cut this so there's that part and that part. Ooh, so pretty! Okay, so come on glue, we busy. We got things to do, places to go, and people to see. <laughs> All right, so there is that. Let's see, I think I would like for this petal to be on top. Oh yeah, that's a definite, definite good plan. And then and a little bit for going under here. Yeah, like it. Like it a lot. All right, and then we've got her. And I want to bundle, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Fabri-Tac down the center here. And I'm gonna kind of fold it onto itself. Yeah. Okay. Now let's put some glue on her dress. There's that piece. And there's that piece. And then there's the gather. Okay, I'll glue that down when I glue her down. And just want a little bit of this popping out of here. 
somewhere. Just a little bit of it. Don't I? Don't I? No. No. No! No! Do want a little bit of this? No, because I don't want to cover that up any more than it's covered. Okay, so let's put some glue on her. Ooh, it's coming together. Let's see. I do have some more of that pink lace. I wanted to glue down these little ends of the gather. Whoops. All right, right here. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Then I'm going to have the blue flowers. Coming right. Let's see, do I want it down a little further? Yeah, I think so. Me right there. And then the United Parcel thing. The United Kingdom Aerial Post. Quite interesting. There's a little bit of that. And let me pick this back up again. A little bit of that. Just, just sticking it down. Don't want to lose any of my pieces. Now I had a little, little teeny piece. This came out of the uh, snippets. I'm going to put that back in the snippets. I guess... I guess I knocked it off. I was going to do something, do something else, but that's okay. And I think that's going to be left alone here. And then, I don't know, this might work right about here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it right about there. What do we think? It's like I need one more flower right here. One more, peeps. Let me see what I can find, be back. I found it. What do you think? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I am going to glue this down. That's what it needed. It had like a big empty hole Big empty hole, and this is just gorgeous. I tell you, when you're when you're working with pretty papers, it's really hard to go wrong. And retack this down a little more onto the napkin, and then I did cut out this little bud. And I'm not gluing it all the way down because I do want a little bit of dimension. With that, I'm leaving this lifted up. That leaf I'm gluing all the way down because it is very, very gentle. Uh, what do you not gentle? Um, it, it'll it'll be broken off very easily if it's not secured properly. Okay, and then we're going to do my little sign up underneath here and right across, up just a little bit more, and right across there. Oh, how pretty is that? I love it. I love it. And, 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 and literally, just, 
just take a bunch of stuff and lay it down <laughs> and you and then you just keep moving it around until you are happy with it i mean that's just what you got to do just try it out um i think i am going to straighten the bag out again i kind of want a very nice clean look and so oh, for heaven's sakes i have got to do some housekeeping I'm just going to draw myself a line and cut it. Draw myself a line and cut it because I can follow a line most of the time. There are a few instances that I have problems even doing that, but so there, oh, I just love that. Now I wonder if I took this off, my mother sat, God rest her soul, sat for hours at a time with us in front of the TV and I would be crafting and she would either be crocheting or doing something because I'm just I, I'm just like she was with you know I, I just don't sit I, I've always got something I'm doing if I'm sitting it's because I don't feel well so my husband knows that if I'm just sitting there doing nothing he'll go what's wrong because <laughs> I just don't do it but um she also took off all of this stuff off of my laces and I mean hours on end she I have you know I have those bolts in in my craft room here that fabric comes on and I have them absolutely stuffed to the gills with ribbon I mean lace and I'd say 90% of them were gathered and I prefer to not have them gathered. I can gather them if I want it gathered. Uh, but most of the time I prefer it not to be gathered. And plus you end up with, I don't know if twice as much lace is right, but you end up with a, quite a bit more lace ungathered than gathered. So, oh, this is taking a while. <laughs> I, and I, she just, I mean, patience of a saint, that woman, just patience of a saint. Well, she raised me, so you know she had to have some pretty good patience because she would say that I, she knew when I came home from school because it was like a tornado hit the house. She could have been, she was a stay-at-home mom until um, both my brother and I were in high school. And then she, she went to work for a while. And, um worked at a lawyer's firm um well kind of but anyway uh so she um very intelligent woman but uh yeah she she just would clean all day or whatever it was you know and but she knew when I came home good god she'd say <laughs> Lisa I don't know what you're in for when you get older Do I like having a little top? What about if I snip this off? See guys, don't use your lace just the way it is. Use it whichever way you want it. Make it work for you. Cause that is your choice. This is the only bit of this pink lace. I think I must have gotten it at a little garage sale or something, and I had this little piece of pink lace. So I'm I'm actually glad that I'm still going to have some little pieces of this pink lace. So I'm going to cut off the netting part. And since I have these, I thought this might be a little more interesting. What you think? I kind of like it. I'm going to put it down there a little bit so that it's got some support. But yeah, I like that. Okay, 
So I'm going to put some glue down here. And then I'm done with this. I mean, you could just keep going and going and going. Uh, but we're not. <laughs> we are not. We got more things to do. More fish to fry here, people. More fish to fry. Oh, my gosh. Can you tell I'm so excited to be in my craft room and not trying to do stuff by candlelight? Because I kid you not, I was doing stuff by candlelight. Because, there again, I cannot just sit and do nothing. My husband said, you are straining your eyes and not really getting anything done. I said, yes, but I'm making myself happy. <laughs> and that is is very important okay so I'm gonna let that dry but there it is didn't get that side off oh, I want that farther down I want it farther down I do I do hey you're supposed to be sticking not to my finger to the paper to the paper okay let's see Oh yeah, I like that much better. There we go. And I still have some pieces. And I even can use this, this little piece that had, that gathered it. So don't throw that away either. Okay. So I am going to put all these little pieces and parts in there. So now we have got some really cute ephemera. Um, don't know where the other piece is. The other pieces. <laughs> I have got to clean this space up. I got in here and just started going to town and never looked back. So guys, I'm going to cut it off here. There is our beautiful handmade parchment bag from start to finish. And we're going to be able to get lots of goodies in there. Lots and lots of goodies. Okay, guys. See you back in a minute.